So it's Thursday again, so we're back in Cabela's Big Game Hunter 2004 season. I don't know what I was talking about in the last video. I think there should be two more episodes uh, completing this career hunt. So we are going to go ahead and load this game. And I actually forget where we're going because I recorded that a while ago. So we're headed to Montana. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got Elk, Mule Deer, and Shira's Moose. This is going to be fun. I really want to make sure we get some good ones. And I think we're going to do Fall. That just reminds me so much of playing this game in the past. Now, some of you guys were asking me to mix up my loadout, so we may actually go through the store. We probably have quite a bit of money uh, from shooting stuff through the other regions, so I don't know what I want to bring rifle-wise. I think we have the 300, so maybe we can do... I actually like the idea of the 280. That seems cool. Let's go with that. Now, I don't know if we're actually going to need to actually like set it in i'm not really sure so basically all i want to do is make sure this hits this target honestly that was pretty good pretty happy with that i feel like there is some randomness to it to be honest i don't know i think that's good i don't see much reason to change it i don't know it may actually like, be based off what I did it with the previous rifle. But I'm cool with that. I am really looking forward to seeing, like, what we can find out here for the Elk and Mule Deer especially. But we got one tag for each. And, again, I want to definitely spend time and make sure we get some good stuff. And I actually did realize we can go back to the previous regions and try to improve some of our animals. But I still can't get anything to work with the Trophy Lodge. I was going through as many comments as I could. I didn't see where any of you guys had any advice, like if you're still playing the game on how to get the Trophy Lodge to work, I'm still going to look for stuff, because I would like to be able to, like, go back and try to improve everything if we can get it to work, but for now, we're just going to continue going through the other regions, so these couple of animals look like a good place to start, so we'll see what these are. I'm going to spook it before I can see what it is. Maybe, if we're lucky, we can run over here and just get eyes on it and figure out what it is. Looks like a mule deer, and I don't know, like, how big they're going to get. I'm guessing bigger than that, though. Like, even the coos deer we shot back in Arizona, I think it was, looked bigger than that. So, we'll kind of just let that go for now. So, there's another, like, average size moose. I got to assume, especially since it looks the same size as the other one, that they should get bigger. That might be a bigger mule deer. I'm not sure, but it looked bigger to me. I think it is. I really I really want to make sure we get a big one. And I think just because I realized you can actually go back to regions, we may look for a bigger one if this guy's not like the biggest one we see during the course of this hunt. But let's see if we can get him. I think we'll have to aim a little high. Probably right because of the wind, but he actually looks decent. I swear, with the headshots, how does this happen? <laughs> it's so weird. I'm not trying that. And it just ends up there. So apparently I didn't need to aim right. But aiming high was necessary. Kind of a cool looking gun, though. I like the fact that we switched it up a little. I mean, I think that should be decent. Ten point. This must be, like, the total length of tines and brow tines or something. 27 inch spread, assuming it's inches, but I don't think it is. That would be decent. So yeah, we're going to pay attention to other mule deer as we go along. And if I see any that are like noticeably bigger, we'll definitely buy another mule deer tag and come back here to Montana. But for now, we're going to move on to moose and elk. All right. It is legal hunting hours. I think it actually stopped right there. I had a big elk, I think, run right past me. That's the map. Getting confused with my keys. Yeah, that's probably a good one. The thing is, I can't shoot it there. It's right by the outpost, so we're going to have to spook it. And then go chase it, I guess. I mean, I could shoot it there as far as I know. It still, like, fills my tags, even if I, like, break a law or whatever. But we'll get them away from here and try to get them without getting yelled at. It shouldn't be too big a deal. They don't run that far. But honestly... Wherever he stops out here, we should be all set now. So this should be him right up here. I actually just heard like a really faint bugle too, which is kind of cool. 
but I'm just hoping we don't spook him. I think he's going to be in view. Oh, yeah. You can see him right there. He looks pretty decent to me. Huh. First time I actually hit where I was aiming, and it's just a wounding instead of a immediate kill, but I suppose that makes sense when it's not a headshot. I think in this game, I could be wrong, but every animal that you wound eventually does die. So we'll just kind of head over that way, and maybe he'll lead us towards bigger moose, because I've seen a couple of the, the ones that I thought were big in Alaska, but... I really want to find another good one, because we know what those look like for sure. Kind of what well, you can actually attempt to track them, too, but he's not dead yet. Might actually be smart to get another shot at him, or he's probably about to die, but we'll help that along. So yeah, I don't know if that's actually big, but looks like a good one to me, so we'll take that. There's another mule deer. That's most certainly smaller than the one we shot. So, I think we made a good decision with that. And hopefully we'll get to see some other elk and know if this is actually a good one or not, but... He's got like a lot of points and stuff, I would say most likely he is. He's 276, trophy score, whatever that means. 6 by 6 I think. Again, if that's inches, 54 inch spread would be insane. But, I don't think it actually is, it's just like a... Unit system they've come up with. I mean, again, that's like a nice moose. I don't know. <laughs> they are Shire's Moose. I've seen a bunch of them that look the same as this. So I'm starting to think maybe this is actually a good one. But like, I don't know. He's a 142. I don't remember what the other one we shot was. Paddle with 17. With a 33. I mean, Shire's Moose are small. Like, smaller than some other species of moose. So that might just be as big as they get. I've never known Cabela's games to care too much about that. I would kind of expect them to just figure, like, if it's a moose, it's going to have big antlers. But I like what I was reading out of the corner of my eyes. I was saying that. Brown bear, muskox, and barren ground caribou. That sounds like a good time. So we definitely got to do winter. Hunting muskox and anything but winter sounds weird. And maybe we'll switch up our equipment again. My goodness, I lose energy fast. I'm just walking and losing it like crazy. I'm wearing, like, the heaviest clothing I can get. Like, I've got the winter camo. Honestly, that looks kind of good. But I did get the 7 mil. And I think for this one, we're probably going to need the snowmobile. I don't know how we're going to be able to navigate with having to stop every, like, couple of seconds, basically. So I think this is going to be how we're going to do this. Now, as far as the hunting goes, brown bear and muskox, there's probably not going to be a whole lot of telling, like, how big they are. So we'll probably take pretty much the first ones of those we see but for the caribou I definitely want to try to get some better ones which didn't go super well the first time we tried that so we'll see how that goes yeah that's just a little caribou so that's definitely not something we want that is a muskox there though so we're probably going to try to get that I do have a semi-auto now with a 7 mil so some extra shots wouldn't be a terrible idea but I'll hopefully let it stop I mean that looks like it would be a pretty decent one, but hard to say what the kind of scale is for these. But it ain't stopping. Oh, I swear, these headshots. All right, nice. Honestly, it's probably best I go back and get the snowmobile and head over that way, because it's going to take so long to run there and back. And the snowmobile's not too far down here. Is this thing close to, though? I think it is. I might see what that is first. That's a brown bear, I think. I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. Okay, let's see if we can get that, too. I love how the only shots that I make that actually look good are the ones that end up just wounding the things. But fortunately, I brought the GPS, and that does show where our snowmobile is, so it should be kind of down this way. I do wish it showed you which direction you were moving gonna eat real quick so we can maybe recover stamina a little more quickly but yeah pretty sure it's this way alrighty so the bear has not died yet I think it should but honestly I have no idea but we'll go and get our muskox maybe if I can get around the giant hitbox on that bush alright we're gonna get as close as we can cause literally any steps we take basically kill us 
I should honestly do more with this camera. Can see stuff a lot better. But that's a 41. Again, not really saying much because doesn't uh, really make a whole lot of sense, but other things were scoring in the 30s and they look big, so maybe. Now, I don't even know which one is our bear anymore because it's still not died. But we're getting close to late enough that we're going to have to quit for the night. So I may kind of just scoot over that direction. We shot it down here, so it must be one of these three. And then maybe we'll camp near there, hope it dies overnight, and if not, I guess we'll have to go shoot it again. I bet it's that one. That's the closest one. But we just... <laughs> we can barely move without hurting ourselves. Now we will replenish everything uh, once we rest. So I'm more willing to push it. But even still, I just can't go that far. Let's see. If we can maybe get eyes on it. And hopefully that's it and we can just finish it off. I mean, it's right there, clearly. Like, you can just tell based on your own perspective how fast it's moving and how close it is based on that. But is that our bear? I would say it is. There we go. All right. So still going to be smartest to take the snowmobile. And hopefully I can head on over there that we can get camped out. And then we have two caribou to kill still with this crazy slow moving hunt. But I love the area. It looks cool. I hope, like, harvesting an animal after legal light isn't an issue. I can't imagine why it would be, but oh boy, let's not do that again. <laughs> I'm already hurt enough. I don't need to end up dying after we got half of this hunt done. Because I don't think anything we do other than maybe hunting in the summer here would make it, like, any quicker. But there's our bear, which from here looks kind of huge. Let's see. 35 and it's yeah I mean it can't be a 29 inch wide skull so not sure what that means but seems like that would be a good one now just because we're close enough to death that one vehicle wreck could probably get us I think we're gonna go ahead and set up camp somewhere up here where it's flat that will heal us and then we'll head out in the morning and try to find a couple of good caribou that's actually about the size of what I thought a decent caribou was back in, I think, Alberta. So I think we're going to get that. And then... Ooh, that hit a lot lower than I thought it would. We'll maybe look for a slightly better one for the next one. At least see if we can find a bigger one. Gosh, I can't quite get the lead right. That might be it. Nope. Leading just a little too much. That should be it. Well, not exactly a perfect shot, but got him anyway. And I still haven't seen whatever this animal is. You would think it would be a little more shaken up from all the shooting that just happened. And I just can't quite see what it is. I actually think I'm going to purposely spook it. I'm just going to shoot, like, over here. Okay, that's just a bear. Alright, don't need to worry about that then. That is one of our caribou tags filled. And again, like, I don't know if that's actually even remotely decent. We're going to try to look for a better one, I guess, just with a snowmobile. And once we've seen a couple of caribou, if they all seem to be, like, just that size, we'll end up probably taking another one that size. Ooh, that's actually one of the ones, like, kind of what I'm looking for. Might have to, like, no-scope it. <laughs> the kill cam was so close, I could see my gun in it. All right, well... 190. I don't know your log cabin already displays a better trophy. I think the other one was 197, actually, if I remember right. But, yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video. We need to go back and actually look at the regions left, because I think there's two, and I counted wrong in the last video, because we have Quebec, we have Texas, and then that's it. Yeah, so that'll be next time. And actually, just quickly, so we can see what next time is going to be. Canadian moose, Labrador caribou, never heard of that, and black bear, so... That actually sounds like it's going to be a pretty good time. And just for fun, we can see Texas is going to be wild boar, whitetail, and coyote. So that'll be rounding out our Big Game Hunter 2004 season adventures. But 
That was actually cool. We got to shoot muskox, which I didn't realize were in this game. I definitely never got that far playing as a kid. And I think that elk was actually a good one. I really wish I could get the trophy lodge to work. I'm going to look into some stuff and see if I can maybe get it so we can look at uh, what we've gotten. And like I said, maybe go back and try to improve on stuff. But yeah, I really appreciate you guys' support for this series. It's been amazing and I just have really enjoyed not only playing it, but seeing you guys' response as well. So anyway, thank you guys for that and thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.